What's up you guys, it's Bex. Um, so today's video, which I think is called <laughs> Crochet With Me, okay good, just making sure I change that, but um, I just wanted to chill and kinda relax and uh, crochet with you guys. Um, I can teach you guys how to crochet a couple things. Um, I also have this new thing, I don't, I'm sure it's not new, but it's new for me, where I use uh, two strings and crochet them and like interlock them and it's super cool. So I'm about to show you guys how to do that today. So I just wanted to say that I do have a subscriber goal of 25. I mean, I would love to have a thousand, but you know I gotta start small. So if you want to um, subscribe to me, that'd be super duper. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm having a pretty swell day myself. Um, I do my scissors. Okay, so um, if you have yarn, it, then you can follow along. If you don't, then you can watch for next time. But first thing you're gonna do is, uh, oof, folks, it's not very good. Um, you're gonna make like a little loop, just tie it where you would tie as a knot, but then just leave it open a little bit. And then go ahead and put your crochet needle. Um, I'm not an expert, so I'm gonna tell you as much as I know of how to crochet. I know there's like single knots and double knots and all that fun stuff, but I'm just going to do, um, I guess, it's, I think it's a single, I don't know. Anybody who's a professional crocheter is gonna be watching this, I'd be like, nah. But um, educate me and just comment below um, anything that I mess up because I'd rather be educated and know for next time. So, okay, so first thing you're gonna do is I always hold the yarn in my left hand and hold the needle with my right hand. So you're gonna put it through the little knot that you made. You can make it, I make it loose just so that it doesn't it's not hard to pull through, but uh, first thing you're gonna do is just wrap it around and pull it through. And that's like your first like stitch, I think that's called. Um, and then you just keep going. It does take a while to get the hang of it. I've been doing this for, oof, since like high school. I've been um, crocheting blankets and stuff. My first blanket that I ever crocheted, I did for my sister. It was not a good blanket, guys. It was pretty bad, but it was fun and I liked it, so. Um, but yeah, then you're gonna wanna keep going if you want to keep going, but just to kinda show you what it looks like. Um, the hard part is going back over to make it thicker. Um, so I'm gonna crochet a little bit so you guys can kinda see how to do that. That's one thing I kinda struggled with uh, when I first started doing it. I just could not figure out how to um, get the hook on the end because if you don't get the one on the end your blanket will be like this because you have to I, my sister's blanket looks like that where it's it's a little I mean it's big but it's like mm, it's not very good <laughs> sorry <laughs> but um, I did learn since then so um, getting that last knot in the back or a loop at the end um, really makes the world a difference, so. Okay, just to kind of show you how to go back over. So you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna wrap it around, then you're gonna find the first little loop to go, kind of go through. Um, this is not a very good camera to use for this, but I hope you guys can kind of see and understand what I'm doing. I wonder if I can see it better. No, you can't. Um, but yeah, you just kind of go through the loop so that way you have three of them because you had it originally around the first loop already and then you wrapped it for the second one and then for the third one you went through the hole. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it again and then you're gonna pull it through the first one and just kinda leave it and then you're gonna wrap it again, pull it through two, I made this way too tight, through two and then you're gonna wrap it again and pull it through to the last two. So it's one, two, and two 
Um, the reason you, you need to wrap it each time is because you're trying to, you need more yarn and you're trying to make it thicker. So if you don't wrap it, you're just looping the same loops and just making a knot. So you're gonna want to uh, add yarn every time. So, but yeah, um, let's go ahead and go through the second one. Um, as you can see, this huge hole right here, you're not gonna wanna go through that loop. You're gonna wanna go through the next one because this one, this really thick one is the one you just put all your yarn through. So you're gonna wrap it around one time again, and then you're gonna go through the next hole. And then I have three, so I'm gonna wrap it again, pull it through the first hole, I have three, wrap it around, pull it through two holes, now I'm left with two, and then you wrap it around and pull it through the last two. As you can see, it's kind of thick, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish a couple to kind of show you guys what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. Um, I am going fast though, because um, I kind of have, also the way to hold it, I should teach you guys how to do that. Um, the way to hold it is, I guess as you can see, I wrap it around my finger and put it between the two. And then I use these two fingers to hold whatever I'm doing. So you wanna keep this tight, this string tight, or else it'll just feel, I'm trying to like show you how to do it. Yeah, see, it's too like it's way too loose. You can't have no, you don't have any control over it if you do it like that, but. Okay, right. so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it all the way through just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do um, oof, this double string kind of thing. I, uh, I did it for one of my other videos. Um, I, I was gonna make a whole video on it, but I'm gonna just do it now just to kind of get it out of the way. Um, it's really easy actually, but as you guys can kind of see. But yeah, there's there's different ways to do it. There's, you can just, uh, you can do two loops or you can, there's another way instead of doing pull through one loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. There's like, you can do one, one, one. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, but yeah, this is just the way I've been always doing it. I just like it. So I just have been going with it, but. Okay, now we're gonna try and do two strings. This is hard for me, actually. So, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's a Tuesday? What is today? It's Wednesday. I was off. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do two strings at once, as you can see here. Um, it actually looks really cool once you go through it. I did one like all the way through just with one, but I'm going to try and go through two this next time and see what happens. But well, wish me luck guys because I it's hard because it's thicker. So you're oof. as you guys can see, I'm doing great already. So hmm. okay. Oof. This is a struggle, guys. So, um, what's up, guys? How are you today? Just struggling, you know, the usual. <laughs> Trying to figure out my stuff. I just wanted to be pretty. Okay. Let's pull it through. Pull it-ish through. This is the hard part. It's really thick so it's it's hard to pull through but give me some leeway hello Michelle thanks for stopping by on my stream Oof. okay as you guys can kind of see it looks pretty cool I think but we'll see if I can even um, double back over and make it thicker because it's already thick all right, you're working. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be texting while you're at work. Well, I guess you're at home, aren't you? Never mind. 
Just don't get in trouble. I really want to make a blanket, but I feel like that would take forever if I did one with this way. We'll see what happens, guys. Oof. What do you think? Look pretty cool. What do you think? All right, it gets easier as you keep going. But um, one thing when you first start crocheting, it's gonna be, it's like muscle memory for me now because I've been doing it for like, oof, almost 10 years technically. Cause I did this back in high school a little bit before that, but it's basically muscle memory for me right now. So when you first start, just keep practicing. Don't get frustrated. Just keep trying. Just do like single loops like this with one, one string and just keep doing it and just keep practicing because uh, practice makes perfect and that's for sure for this kind of thing because it's difficult at first. <laughs> it really is. But once you can do it and you've mastered that and then you can literally make anything you want. Scarves, um, hats, blankets. I've made a lot of blankets. I really haven't made anything else besides blankets. TBH. <laughs> But welcome everyone who's watching. Comment below so I can say hi and know who you are. So it's not awkward. But okay. Doesn't that look cool? I like it. I don't know if I can go back over because it's oof. Finding those loops. I can do it, but it's just gonna be a long time. But I don't know, maybe I'll make a little square for right now because I don't know if I can make a blanket out of it. Okay, let's go back over and let's see what happens. Oh Lord. <laughs> I did it. Does that look terrible? It's actually not too bad because they kind of like stick together and they kind of roll together. It looks it looks like a jumbled mess, but I think it'll look good once I get a blanket going. I have all the yarn. I have a lot of yarn. I have all the yarn to make a galaxy blanket, so I might make that one of these videos. I I want to like take each piece and kind of cut it up and mix it, kind of like an ombre type thing, but like a forced ombre. I'm sure there's like ombre galaxy yarns. Actually, what I really want to do is I want to take my white yarn and tie dye it because I think that would be cool. What do you guys think? Should I tie dye my white yarn and make my own little colors or something? I kind of want to do, I'm obsessed with galaxy, I always have, but I really kind of want to make a galaxy blanket because my best friend's having a baby and I can make her a little uh, baby blanket, a galaxy baby blanket. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she'd like that. I hope she does. But I kind of want to make it tie-dye my own white yarn. It looks like a jumbled mess. But it's very structured. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. I might just be uh, biased because it's something I'm making. But I also might fix that, um, the paintings I made in my yesterday, in yesterday's video. Uh, it's... It turned out okay, but it's very, like, 3D. It's, uh, and it's too much blue. I didn't have any purple in it. I, I don't know why. I had some color of purple, and I thought it was purpley enough, but it was not purpley enough. But I might go ahead and fix that during this stream. If you guys wouldn't mind watching that, me fixing, painting my, my mistake. It did, it was fun for a first try, but I really need to fix it. Ah, oh, I messed up already. There it goes. That looks cool. Does anyone think that looks cool? Am I the only one? I like it. I don't know. I'm sure there's someone's done this before, this method, but I, uh, I'm really digging it now. It's really thick, too. 
So I don't know how comfortable as a blanket it would be, but if you were wanting like um, cup hold, not cup holder, but uh, what are those called? And you set your drink on it so it doesn't get water everywhere. Coasters! I have not eaten today, so um, I get to eat at 12, so I'm gonna just push on, but my brain is literally not working, but. Let me know down in the comments if you are a crocheter yourself. If there's, if you like this method or if you do this kind of thing. This is really thick actually. This would not be a very uh, comfortable blanket. It would be kind of a cool background. The backdrop if you were to make it like really big, I think. I don't know, there's so many things you could possibly do with this, but, um, but that's how you do. For those who didn't see how to crochet, um, I can start one over again, but this, I was doing kind of a double string, double color mess. But I'm gonna finish that later. It really makes my hand hurt, so I've got purple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do just the single one real quick because uh, I showed it before. I don't think anyone saw it. Let me start again. So you make a little loop, kind of like if you're tying a little knot, but you don't tie it all the way through. You don't want to tighten it. So this is how I hold my yarn just through these two fingers and then I use these two fingers <laughs> to hold the yarn in place like this. So you just wrap it around and pull it through the hole, wrap it around, pull it through the hole, wrap it and pull it, wrap it and pull it, wrap it and pull it, wrap it and pull it. But if, when you first start doing this, it's not going to be easy and getting the fingering, the holding, like holding it right. The, this needs to be tight, so you need to keep these two fingers clamped. It ends up like, I'm surprised I don't have carpal tunnel like with this hand because I've crocheted so much. This hand has been in this position for like a long time. But um, once you kind of, you can take breaks and stuff, but once you kind of get the hang of it, you can do it faster. But um, it will be a struggle at first because it just it's a weird motion, but um, I hope it becomes easy for you guys um, once you keep practicing. That's all I'm saying. Just keep practicing And then you just keep going through You can make make a lot of things with this with yarn. You can make blankets hats. I don't know how to make a hat That's one thing to learn how to make a hat, but um, I don't know how to do that so I think I might fix my uh, paintings right now because that's basically it for crocheting. There's a lot of different um, knots and stuff you can do, but uh, I do have my attempt for a supernova. And then I have some galaxies that I need to touch up on. I painted it black on the sides, but I need to add some stuff on top, but um, I don't know what to do with this supernova. This is not a supernova. This is a blotch and paint. Actually, this right here and this right here was me angrily like, this isn't a supernova. It's not looking very good. I'm just patting it. And I kind of ruined it myself just because I was angry, but don't paint when you're angry, guys. Well, actually, you might come up with something really cool if you paint when you're angry, but um, I don't know. <laughs> What do you guys think? Should I um, keep painting? Should I fix these things? Um, I think well. I have my mini paint brushes. Also, um, I didn't do this, but you really need to wash your paint brushes because if you don't, they get really crusty. And you don't want to leave them in water, the brushes, because the water will get up into the bristles and it'll start to swell and it'll uh, break this part of it, I think. 
I've never had it happen before, but that's what my art teacher told me, is not to leave these in water. You can keep them in water to get them, keep them wet and everything, but you don't want to leave them for like several hours or else you'll ruin your brushes. But uh, let me get some things going and we will paint some. Ah! Ooh, this one's still wet. Okay, let's say goodbye to the supernova because that's not very pretty. Um, painter now. what I can do here actually because I don't even know what I should fix on it I need to add stars but I didn't really like um, the way I painted it before like the blue so I'm gonna kind of cover it up a little bit hope everyone's doing great in their lives right now um know it's the middle of the week but I'm already ready for the weekend so these really cool pretty colors but um they uh i haven't used them really except for the the pour the pour pour that i did i like them though they're kind of thicker actually why are they thicker they are not <laughs> i'm not using oils this time i did it one i did that one time i used oils and I didn't realize it was oils and I was like why is this acrylic so thick and I was like it's because it's oils duh duh this is a really pretty color I think music playing where did it go shout out to ethic beats because um those that's the music i'm listening to so dang that that's a pretty blue i like it 
I use it for this one too, actually. That's pretty. Oof. I use this really lame blue. I got it for like a dollar or two or something. Because it's not good. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. I also am going to paint moon phases on uh, this wooden filing cabinet. So if you want to watch me do that, um, I'll live stream it one of these days. Um, moon phases. I like moon phases. I know it looks like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I'm just painting. I'm having fun, you know? There's so many like expensive paintings that people sell like millions of dollars and it's just like straight blue and I'm like, I can paint better than that, but where's my million dollars? But I mean, I'm not a great painter, but I like to have fun and I like to do it. So I mean like, there's some weird paintings out there that people hype about. So don't get discouraged. Just gotta keep practicing. I guess that's all you can do. Just keep practicing. I think I need to make it lighter in the middle there. I don't know if I want to make it white light. Uh, white light. Light bright. We'll see what happens, guys. Everything better makes the world go round. <laughs> Which I don't think it has anything to do with the world going round. stars is the best part because it actually makes it look like a, a galaxy before you're just looking at this like what is this but it really makes the world a difference just so that I don't get it all over <laughs> okay toothbrush I have a specific toothbrush for this actually I need to clean it Except I, this needs to be a little bit brighter, I think. Dang it. Okay. 
Was that, was that too much? That was probably too much. I keep ruining it the more I do to it. I need to stop. I will add though, probably some black. I need black. I keep using the wrong black. What do you guys think? It's not perfect, but um, it's pretty cool. I need to add some teeny tiny stars. My favorite is to do like lines like this so it looks like uh, shooting stars this is something i started doing recently to make the sky look a little bit more active I think. Is it look pretty cool? Well, you guys see this one a little bit closer. Let me put uh, stars on the side. Cause it's like pitch black over here. This really works out both the arm and the arm. Ugh. Okay. And there's my galaxy, y'all. I feel like I want to do more to it, but I feel like if I keep doing that, I'll ruin it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I think... I think I need to add some specific constellations, maybe. Um, like maybe one right here, maybe like Leo, but um, and then Scorpio and then Virgo and all this stuff. So, but um, for right now, at least the back's done. I need to go spray it, and then um, I will probably add it later. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, to support me, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. I will be streaming probably once a week. But every Tuesday and Thursday, I do fun little DIY videos. And then on Fridays, I'm going to be trying to do more photography videos if you guys like that kind of thing. But um, just to give you guys a little bit of everything um, so you guys can enjoy um, all the things. But um, Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you guys on the flip side.